What's going on, everybody? I'm kind of pissed off today. I woke up to a bunch of tweets, Facebook messages, business inquiries. A lot of people notified me that T. Martin and Ali A. both copied me. Now, I'm outraged. I was doing some research, and I, I found... By doing a few seconds of research that this is true, they did copy my idea of Black Ops 3 crypto key wager matches. Now, as you guys know, I made a video called Black Ops 3 where I was disappointed in the features in Black Ops 3 for party games. And I felt that they could add not only more party games, but they could include a betting system like they did in Black Ops 1. I was a big huge fan of black ops one wager matches i think i did a hundred videos on them and uh, that's what kind of blew me up on youtube originally and i had this idea and i thought it was quite simple and i asked david vonahard to to please add it now four days later t martin and ali a tweet and make a video about the same exact idea and i'm fucking pissed off because not you know it, it T. Martin just raised, and the race, I think, raised $461,000 for charity and veterans. And, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. You, you think T. Martin's this good guy. He does this nice thing. But then he stoops so low and it does one of the worst things ever that you could ever do to another person. Like, how low can... I'm so pissed off right now. You guys don't even know. It's not that big of a deal. I think if you just do a little bit of research, you can see that Team Harden actually made a video last year in Advanced Warfare, kind of with the same concept. It's quite common knowledge that Call of Duty fans want another wager match type game mode where there's something on the line and Crypto Keys would be perfect. And maybe my video did remind Team Martin to do like the yearly rendition. As a Call of Duty content producer, uh, there's some videos that you make every year. And I think we've been asking for this since Black Ops 1. So everybody tweeting me, you guys need to calm the fuck down. I'm not mad at Team Martin or Ali A. I'm actually really glad that great minds think alike and they know what's good for call of duty they're call of duty fans too and i'm glad they're using their voice to try to make this happen and let's be honest if we're gonna be mad at anybody we're mad at whoever's in charge over at activision making these lackluster or the the game developers Every year, over and over, it gets worse and worse and worse. They add gun game and they think that's good enough. They just put gun game and infected and say, oh, that's that's fine. They don't even have infected in this fucking game type. Oh my lord. Oh my god, my voice just cracked. I'm getting so passionate about this. And this gun game sucks compared to Black Ops 1. I just like back in the day... I'm not saying the voice acting was better, because we all say the nostalgic, oh, back in the day the voice acting was better. That's debatable, but they just gave more voice cues in Black Ops 1 gun game and the party games when you got humiliated. In Sharpshooter, when there was a few seconds left, uh, when you got into third place in the money, they don't have that anymore. The person in first place was indicated by a gold icon on the radar instead of a red one. And this is kind of sad. I'm going to have the greatest finish to a Black Ops 3 gun game that could ever happen. And it is pretty epic, don't get me wrong. But this is almost like the best that you can do. And it was, it was pretty cool. Okay, it's pretty cool, but how can I top that? Why? Instead of having a knife and your fists, is that all? Hello, Black Ops 3 specialist, you have bow and arrows, you have war machines, you have all these cool, awesome weapons at your disposal. Why don't you use those? And for those people said I would be mad at T. Martin for this idea. Are you fucking out your fucking mind? Do you know how much money I would make if they had crypto keys? in 
Black Ops 3 wager matches and I could sell those crypto keys that I, I won, uh, my lifetime winnings in Black Ops 1 wager matches was 8 million COD points. I think the reason why the Call of Duty community isn't as strong as it once was is you guys are so quick to act to try to start another war on YouTube, some more drama. There's no drama here. We all have the same idea. We all want the game to improve, and this would help me out tremendously. Having wager matches back in, in Black Ops 3 would be so good for my channel, and T-Mart and, and Ali A trying to have that happen is not an act of war. It's not a bad thing. I want this to happen, and I made that clear in my Black Ops 3 video, and they wanted it to happen too. What's so bad about that? Why can't we all get along? Why can't we just be friends? Why can't we be a community?